Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffy Brit, and today you join me playing Mountain Blade Warband, where we're greeted by mm, strong looking Viking men. Yes, yes, my oh my, look at those pointy spears. So, what are we doing in Mountain Blade Warband today? Well, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to be exploiting game mechanics. No, 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 no. Instead, we're going to be asking a question, a very important question, asked by I'm pretty sure everyone. What would happen if you suddenly travel? back to the medieval era, but instead of having, you know, a bow and arrow or maybe a sword and shield, you instead had a fully working minigun. I mean, some would say that this might imbalance the medieval landscape and potentially put you in a slightly overpowered position. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what we're going to be testing today. We're going to be creating an absolute hero who has plans of world domination and then releasing him onto the world of Calradia and just seeing how far he gets. We have one simple rule, however. He has one life. Even though he is from the future and has a minigun, he is but a mere mortal and would die if technically defeated. So we must keep him alive and make sure the minigun is never separated from him. For if our hero dies, then our journey must come to an end. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all prepared, you're sat back, you're relaxed, you have a nice warm cup of tea with you. And you know what? If you're especially fantastic, you might have already given the video a like. My goodness, hats off to you. You, you good sir. My goodness, you've just blown me away. Anyway, let's dive into this game and make something new and fantastic. Ah, loading screens, the perfect time for a good cup of tea. Mmm. Oh, goodness. The Yorkshire tea today is fantastic. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know Mountain Blade, it's a fantastic adventure where you basically start as a peasant or maybe a slightly impoverished noble, and you go from collecting your band of merry men to either working for one of the many kings on the continent or becoming a king yourself and trying to take over the entire place. So we need to start our brand new journey. You know what? I think we should go for a nice brand new male hero. And what is his story going to be? You were born many years ago in a land far away. Your father was. Let's go for an impoverished noble. Yes, you know, it was an impoverished noble who sadly gambled away his entire tea supply and was banished to roam elsewhere. However, in your early life, you spent your entire time as. I like the sound of a street urchin. That sounds very good. I, I've got, that's got very Oliver Twisty vibes. I do like that. Right, governor, got a spare shilling and all that. Oh my goodness, how British can you get? Right, as a young adult, what are we doing? Well, I mean, we were obviously a squire learning to travel. He was a sword, although in actuality our father was probably a time traveller, landed and then upon his death we received the family heirloom, a fully working machine gun, however it was successfully disguised as a crossbow. Anyway, however, we leave our lands and we need to strike our throne. What is our decision? Well, we're going to save the loss of a loved one. Yep, our father died of a tea-based overdose and now we have his crossbow. Let us become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. My goodness. Now all we need is just to pick a nice little flag. And I mean, there's some good flags here. I quite like the dragons and you got a couple of horsies. Not many British flags, however, which is a bit of a shame. But they do have a unicorn and a unicorn seems pretty wacky. I like that. Anyway, we need to actually come up with a name for our hero. That's right. You you come up with a name for your hero before you even see their face. We don't know what this guy's going to be like. So we need a name. Well, of course. I mean, he's an impoverished noble. Maybe this guy is a duke. Maybe he's an entire duke, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God goodness. It makes sense. He holds a duchy somewhere. Probably a duchy of Sealand, if I'm honest. Oh god, are we doing this again? Oh god, right, let's see how expensive they are. Oh my goodness, I'm actually trying to see how much it costs to get a Sealand ranking, but apparently the Sealand websites are down. What is this? Is someone attacking Sealand? Am I going to get called into service? Oh no. I knew buying all of those knighthoods might have backfired at one point. Right, well, I've managed to do a check somehow, and apparently the cost of a duke or duchess rank in the nation of Sealand is a full $734.99, which is £601.07, or 17,061,674.92 Vietnamese dong. The vastly superior currency, I must say. So who is our hero, the legendary duke and warrior fighter and time traveller who is going to be saving the world of Calradia today? Well, of course, it is none other than Duke Philip McCracken. 
Now, Philip McCracken is actually a real-world person who lives in America. He does illustrations for various stuff. And you know what here he is today, ladies and gentlemen, but as a duke. And I'm going to say, as part of my merry adventures and absolutely silly purchases that I make over the course of these many videos, if this video were to receive a absolutely ridiculously profound 25,000 likes, then I will do the great service of buying Philip McCracken a duke rank for the nation of Sealand. He will have no idea who I am. He is a 91 year old bloke living out his life in America and we're going to buy him a dukedom. <laughs> Oh, good old Phil McCracken. Anyway, let us customize our Phil McCracken. Oh my goodness, you can feel the power flow through the computer with every single click. And now we just need to create the guy. Well, I mean, obviously he is 92 years old, so I'm um, probably going to have to scale up that age. Although I, I do like having a bit of hair color choice from time to time, so we'll make sure to have that. Anyway, let's design the perfect man. I mean, obviously he needs a beard, and this feels like a strong, powerful beard, the beard of conquerors. Now we need to decide face width or face not width. With. Face with width or face with no width. I got this. That's such a difficult word. Oh my goodness, we can make him kind of cross and angry, or you can go to the other end and just becomes really sad and disappointed with what you're doing. Let's design the eyebrow depth. Yes, a very important slider. I say this way. Good. Oh my goodness, what's this mouth to nose distance? Let's have a large mouth to nose distance. Oh no, <laughs> we've created more monsters, haven't we? Look at this boy. He's so good. Now he needs hair. What kind of hair would such a hero have? Oh, I like the long hair but also like the short hair oh the ponytail now that's powerful yes we can add a bit of age to him yes let's give him a bit of colored hair oh this is good i like this yes this is our boy he's ready oh my goodness i'm done i'm ready this is he's perfect so there we go we hear about Caradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other where are we going to land well immediately i quite like the idea of landing in oh take a ship to jail carla that sounds fine yes let's do that what's this you're exhausted by the time you find your way to the inn in Jokara and fall asleep quickly. However, you awaken for dawn and are eager to explore the streets. However, all of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs on the back of your neck. We have been ambushed, ladies and gentlemen. Someone is out to kill us. Someone around here. But where? And who? And probably from that angle. There they are. Look at them. They're coming to try and kill us. Um, luckily, we inherited the minigun. Now, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the minigun is rather powerful. Do, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just a normal human. Please ignore. I will kill you. Stay away. Please, this is your last warning, elderly white-haired man. Very well. And he's defeated. So basically, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we own a minigun. It shoots really quite quickly. Oh my goodness. What, what is this that I'm seeing? Merchant of Jokala. I'm just seeing my hair. That's fine. You know what? That's a fine angle. So yes, basically, we have our fantastic minigun, which we can shoot at the merchant. Although it all does just go through him. Basically, this is just a fantastic weapon disguised by our ancestors to look like just a mere normal crossbow. However, it actually shoots exceedingly quickly. And will hopefully bring us glorious success. I do believe so. Wouldn't you agree, Merchant of Jokala? If this man in front of you was pointing a fully automatic machine gun, I too would stand vacant and start questioning my life and wondering if it's really meaning to anything and maybe I should have stopped drinking coffee and I should start drinking tea. Good Yorkshire tea. Good tasty Yorkshire tea. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This video is 100% not sponsored by Yorkshire tea, but we wish it was. So why not go down into the comments section below and follow a link that quite simply doesn't exist because we are not sponsored even though we wish we were. My goodness, Yorkshire tea, it's fantastic. Anyway, so the merchant wants to put us on a lovely merry goose chase to try and grab his brother. However, that does not interest me. And instead, we are going to leave him, B and his brother, who will remain kidnapped by bandits for the rest of the entire game. And instead, we will set out with our fantastic unicorn banner. And hopefully, we're going to start taking the world. As you can see on the map, we have our one little horse dude. Um, that's us, apparently. I mean, to be fair, they have made him about as beautiful as he really is. I mean, just look at the guy. Oh, we can rotate him. <gasps> you spin me right round, Philip, right round spin me right round oh yes phil mccracken he's a really party animal anyway duke philip mccracken what a guy i just love the way that the name shows up he's already so powerful now what we want to do is we probably want to start taking over lands we want to really settle down and get a nice power base set up and so for that we need to take a castle and what better castle than this one over here maris castle i mean it's made of wood which does make it quite flimsy but also it really does control this pass and will be a fantastic power base for duke mccracken now of course 
just before we actually go taking anything, we need at least 10 men to lead into battle, otherwise the game won't actually let us siege, and also we need to cause a bit of chaos. So for that, Philip McCracken is going to need to gather a group of boys and start raiding the local villages. Let's see if there's anyone in the tavern who wants to join us. Oh, there's the merchant. Here's a traveller, and a bunch of super expensive mercenaries. Um, right, so there's actually no one we can hire here. Right, time for us to leave. Very well, we must head towards a local village and pick up some lads. Let us recruit some volunteers. No one is willing to join your party. Why wouldn't you want to, to have a party with Phil McCracken? The dude's a party animal. Look at how fast he can rotate. Think of the G's he can experience just by spinning on the spot. He can probably create a tornado. Anyway, <laughs> apparently no one wants to join us, so we must go and find another village. Actually, before we do that, let us instead take a hostile action. Peasants, give us supplies. If you won't give us men, we will take the supplies. It will be difficult to force and threaten the peasants into giving their precious supplies. We think you'll need at least one hour for this. Very well, go ahead. Oh, what's this? Some of the angry villagers grab their tools and prepare to resist you. It looks like you'll have a fight on your hands if you continue. Do we leave the village alone, or do we charge them? Oh, and apparently I've lost honour by engaging in this fight. No, we could stand on the horse. But notice, the villagers all running towards us in a straight line. My, this is just like back in the trenches. Just like back in the trenches. I'm so sorry, villagers. I am so sorry. This is probably the section of the video where you could insert some kind of terrifying orchestral um, notes with some strong evil undertones. Oh my. There's just one peasant boy left, and he's glitched on that well. The entire village has been defeated. <laughs> what is that peasant doing? <laughs> Oh, let's see if we can swipe him from here. There we go. He's done. Fantastic. And so our first battle is complete, Duke Philip McCracken. The first battle of many. Success. There we go. Anyway, let us plunder and raise it. We need some resources. Give me the resources. Oh, we've lost so much honor. Oh, is that the king standing around there? What's this? Looters? Villagers have joined the battle on the enemy's side. <laughs> so looters are attacking me, and the villagers want to join them. Oh, my goodness. Although I don't think there are any villagers left to join you, so... Um, really, I'm just fighting looters. Well, looters, I'm afraid. Meet minigun. Uh, da, 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 and they're gone. It really is as easy as that. <laughs> face. <laughs> He's so good. I love this game. I really do. Anyway, the looters have been defeated. Do you wish to continue looting? Yes, continue looting. There we go. It's getting raided. It's almost done. Keep looting. And fantastic! Oh, we got an achievement. Old oh, dirty scoundrel. Don't you dare call Philip McCracken that. On your order, your troops sack the village and pillage everything. You get your share of the funds. 75 dinars. Seven, 75 is all we get. Admittedly, we do get an absolute ton of tools, but only 75 gold. I have to go and sell these somewhere now look at what you've made me do ah great either way we have enough food to last us the entirety of time itself anyway let's immediately sell all of these resources off to the market surprise surprise we don't need this many tools you know maybe this is a golden opportunity to buy ourselves some really good armor to increase our survivability what kind of hats do we have i like the look of the ragged hood that looks fun or the little leather cap that makes him look like a gnome what about the wimple <laughs> It's quite good. I quite like the look of the wimple. Yeah, we're going to have to buy that. That's 20 dinars. Okay, right. We'll give them some olives for that. I just need the wimple in my life. <gasps> What's this thick dress? <laughs> What? <laughs> this is quite a trans transformative surgery you're putting him through. You know what? That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. He's good. He's perfect. I suppose we could buy a new round shield. Yes, that seems like a good idea. Good. Yes. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The success. We've become infinitely more wealthy and also will just generally look better from now on. Although it will be slightly confusing for everyone we meet in battle. Wait, can you... We can customize it more? You can click on him and you can change him? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who's this? It's King Gareth. King Gareth's party of 222 men. Do I know you? Hello, King Gareth. I am Duke Philip McCracken. I'm King Gareth. Your fame runs before you. Perhaps it's time that you sought a liege worthy of your valour. Duke Philip McCracken is famous? <gasps> I could become his, his vassal, but I... I couldn't. I'm too, too important, too powerful. There's zero controversy surrounding me. I mean, if you look at Duke Philip McCracken, I be he looks a bit controversial, if I'm honest. 117 renown. And also, he did burn down an entire village. I'd say he's quite a controversial dude, but you know what? Each to their own game, each to their own. Anyway, let us recruit some peasant farmers. Oh, no, we got attacked. All right, 12, 12 spearmen are attacking us. 12 spearmen. And we'll get 26 renown if we win this. Well, that's going to be easy. Oh, spearmen. Let me guess. They hide behind their shields. Maybe they have no shields. Oh, I can just hold up my shield though, and I must say I do look quite good with it. <gasps> Wow, what a power pose. Right, I think we'll give them a first pass. We'll jump over them, and... 
Oh, wait, I was going to do that, but they appear to have stabby sticks. Oh, wow. No shields, though. All ranged abilities. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I'm going to gain the high ground. As everyone knows, holding the high ground guarantees military success. As great strategical genius, Obi-Wanicus Kenobius, once said, Don't do it. I have the high ground. Da -da -da -da! Oh, my goodness. What a glorious success. And that's the bandits defeated. It just looks so sad whilst the kill count goes up. <laughs> oh, he will never find happiness in life. He's just really permanently upset. Right, anyway, let's recruit some volunteers. Four tribesmen are going to join us. Lovely. Four tribesmen. Oh, and immediately we're getting chased down. And they're going to catch us, aren't they? Yep, we have to fight them. Right, my four peasant boys, they're going to hold the ground because, let's be honest, they're going to be useless uh, actually fighting. They are just peasants fighting against well-trained bandits. So, uh... Your job is to literally just not die. My job is to carry them. Oh, there they are. Wait, I think I have an opportunity to get onto the high ground again. Oh my goodness, this looks like the highest of grounds. Oh my goodness, yes. So much high ground. So much high ground. Ah, hello there, forest bandits. Do 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 do. You are no more. <laughs> it's, so, it's way too powerful. Oh, hang a second. Don't shoot at me. That's very rude. You wouldn't shoot at Duke Philip and McCracken. <gasps> Look at the lens flare. <laughs> This feels so artistic. My goodness, he's so powerful. I love the minigun. Just look at how fast it shoots. This guy could probably shoot down the moon if he really put his mind to it. But nonetheless, we need to take that castle. For that, we're going to need, I think, six more men. So let us head towards the village of Dumar. All right, Dumnar, please give me some good peasants. Two Rodog tribesmen join me. Lovely stuff. That's two brand new warriors. And then we go to Epesh, and hopefully we'll get a few more. Good volunteers. Four. <gasps> Does that mean our party's up to 11? It's up to 11. We can now finally take a castle. My goodness. This is very important. I do believe we're almost ready to actually take our castle. In fact, I think we are. All we need to do is go to war with the Kingdom of Rodox. And the best way to do that, ladies and gentlemen, is to attack something that they own. For some reason, looting and burning villages won't actually necessarily put you at war with them. However, attacking a trade caravan, oh, that might just do it. Caravan master. Hey, old friend. I don't know if I'm your friend. I demand something from you. Hand over your gold golden valuables. Of course I'm robbing you. Yes. Yes. Let us do this. Myself and my eleven men. Right, my eleven lovely sweet boys, all wearing exactly the same clothes. You must stand in a line with your pitchforks and just survive as your one job. Instead, I must somehow solo fight off an entire caravan guard. And I'll put myself up on this nice little hill, yes. Okay, here they come. Oh, they're on horses. Okay. Right, time to take down the horses. Right, open fire. Good job, Philip. Good job. Slow them down. Stop them from getting into the front line. Oh no, this is a bad sign. They're getting quite close. They're getting rather close indeed. Oh no, 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 no. They best not catch up to me because if they do, uh, I go down. Because if Phil goes down, everything's over, ladies and gentlemen. Everything. Our one chance of becoming king of this land. <gasps> oh no, they've got crossbowmen too. We must deal with them. There we go. Their range potential, I do believe, is now down. Wait, are they fleeing? Oh no, we best not have lost any men. <gasps> wow. Some of them actually fled. My goodness, did we lose any strong men? <gasps> no casualties. Oh my goodness, we did it. And we got some velvet. That's very nice. And oil. Oh my goodness. Phil McCracken does get through a lot of oil, if I'm honest, yes. Anyway, there we go. Success. We are now at war with the entirety of the Kingdom of Rodox, meaning we can head over to Maris Castle and hopefully put it under siege. Yes, yeah, success. Before we do, let's grab a couple of extra tribesmen from this village, just to be on the safe side. Yes, 14 men versus a castle. Let's see how strong they garrison is. Bearing in mind, we do own a minigun. There are 139 men here. Right, let us lay siege to the castle. You are laying siege. Okay, let's prepare a ladder and attack the wall. It should only take six hours to scale the wall. Right, let's do it then. A six-hour siege. They might not even be able to get reinforcements over to us in time. My goodness. We might just do it, ladies and gentlemen. We might be able to... We've done it. Right, it is up to I to lead the soldiers in assault. <gasps> the defenders sally out to meet us. Okay, very well. Men, simply hold your ground. Oh, goodness, that's a lot of defenders. I need to open up straight away. Open fire. <laughs> oh goodness. They must not reach our front lines of sweet peasant boys. If we lose any of them, then we might not be able to actually do the siege. So, um, these guys need to go down quickly. <gasps> Phil McCracken just took a hit. He took a hit. Oh no, this is a very bad sign. Very dangerous sign. Phil McCracken goes down. All is lost. We have no hopes. Our kingdom cannot prosper. Right, let's take down the crossbowman. Just one last crossbowman. <sighs> 
success. We are very lucky. Our sweet boys, you should be very happy. Exceedingly happy. We've done... Why are you facing the wrong way? Look, Gary, we talked about this. The enemy was coming from that direction. Okay? Look, I know you have a nice moustache, but that doesn't mean you turn your back to the enemy. Anyway, 105 of the garrison has been defeated. Now, it is very easy to hopefully take. Okay, right. Uh, allow us to hopefully just not even waltz on in there. We'll try and take them all out using our ranged advantage. By ranged advantage, I mean fully working minigun. There we go. There we go. Success. I do believe that's the first of the defenders taken care of. Right, I'm going to pull my men down because oh, we've lost one man. No, Jeremy. He's been, he's been taken down, but his service will not be forgotten. What is this dude? Dude, please go down. Oh, wait, we've got one crossbowman there. Crossbowman. There we go. He's down. Got one over there. And there we go. He's defeated. Uh, and surely there's a few left. Okay, last dude. There we go. He's down. Is it cool for celebration? No, there appears to be one last person. <gasps> Damn, there he is. <laughs> Right, it's time for us to do this by hand, by ourselves, a one-on-one -on -one fight. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Right, let's let's go. Oh, we received no damage. Okay. This boy, he really wants to go. Okay. And swing. And swing. Stab. Our sword is literally doing four damage. <gasps> he did eight. That's cheating. Six. Come on. There we go. He's down. Whoa. Film a Kraken. Wow. What a man. So powerful. Even without the minigun, he's very powerful. And you know what? It begins. Duke Phil McCracken now owns his first piece of land. My goodness, we've done it. Sire, we've taken <laughs> Maris Castle. Who do you wish to give it to? I want to give it to myself. Oh my goodness, what will be the name of your kingdom? You need to give it some kind of nice name. Like Philtopia. Who wouldn't want to live in Philtopia? <laughs> it sounds great. Everyone's so filled there. All the time, constantly. <gasps> And we've gained our first little village. The village of Reveran has now flipped to our side because we own this glorious castle. Wow, we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've actually done it. The castle is ours. Although, admittedly, we do now need to find a way to garrison it. Um, because as soon as we go anywhere, uh, it, could, it can immediately be sieged. All right, so let us try and recruit some more boys from Reveran. Okay, there are no boys to be recruited. What is the village like? Well, it's actually not too bad. It's re relatively prospering. That's good. So, sadly, we need to come up with men. And we need to come up with men as as soon as possible. Oh no, here they come. They're trying to take the castle back. Okay, we need to deal with them. Count Gultan is here. Oh no, it's Count Gutlin. What is your name? If we come to blows, I would know who I'm fighting. They know me as Duke Philip McCracken. Mark it down, you shall be hearing it a lot. I'm Count Gutlin, the vassal of the Kingdom of Rodox. What is it? Um, well, I'm afraid surrender or die. Yeah, you're kind of heading straight towards one of my castles, and I know you're going to take it, so I actually need to defeat you. So my good sweet peasant boys, just please stand here and do not die. Uh, I need to somehow find a way of defeating 74 men in one go. And hang on, is that the lord in question? Yeah, this is the lord who's commanding the entire army. Hello there. Um, you know you should probably be fighting me. Okay, now you activate. Right, go down, please. Where's your entire army gone? Have they just run off? Did your entire army flee from combat? I think they actually have. Seriously? 26 men routed at the sight of my men. Any? Oh no, we lost one Rodok tribesman. <gasps> What a shame. Anyway, another glorious victory for us, though. Anyway, we will garrison the castle. As I do believe they're about to put it under siege. Yep, yeah, they're putting it under siege right now. Okay, right, I need to fight this person. I've heard that you defeated Count Gutland. Yes, I did that about five seconds ago. And you've been anxious to cross swords with me. What is it? Uh, just please leave. Okay, surrender or die. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've got to go. Oh, uh, I'm not allowing you. I can't allow you to stay here. Oh, wait, my men can have the high ground here. It appears that the enemy is elected to uh, not actually attack me. And is instead lining up in a very very long straight line along the hillside here, which is a bit of a interesting battle plan because uh, surprisingly miniguns outrange most crossbows, meaning um, I win. I'm terribly sorry, but really just standing in a straight line like that's not really going to help. I mean, there is actually no way of defeating Duke Philip McCracken. And look, most of your army is now running from the field of battle. I mean, he is just that awe-inspiringly powerful. Oh, there's just one guy left. Who's this? Random peasant infantry? Hello there, random peasant infantry. Oh, don't you try and stab me. Okay. Nope. No, you are actually trying to stab me. I need you gone. Wow. Okay. I, I'm actually going to have to use ranged on you. Annoying peasant person. Stop trying to resist. There we go. He stopped resisting eventually. Thankfully, no casualties on our end. But we did manage to capture some looters who we can <laughs> actually just hire. That's great. Okay. Right. We're going to have an army comprised of looters now as well. Honestly, any men at this point is just good. The more men, the merrier. Apparently, I said he can't recruit from Is. 
Eastern is, so I'm going to have to head over to Nemeja, and hopefully there'll be some peasants to grab. Yes, five Swedian peasants, lovely. Right, I'm going to head over to Praven, and hopefully I can pick up a companion, some kind of, like, random hero, also wandering the lands, probably without miniguns, and I should... Oh, no, it's besieged. Right, we might lose the castle here. It's okay, so I can recruit some volunteers, and hopefully, as I mentioned, we can grab someone in the tavern. <gasps> yes, we've got Mafeld and Aelin here. Hopefully we can recruit both of them. There we go, Elian has now joined our party, and what about Mafeld? There we go, we've grabbed Mafeld as well. Two brand new lovely companions to join us on our merry adventures. Lovely. But the main reason I grab them is because I am able to give them land, and then they will actually raise armies of their own and support me on the field of battle. Anyway, we must head back to Mara's castle. Our people need us. Here we are, yes. I've managed to make it into the castle, but uh, it would appear we're being sieged by almost 200 men. Yes, Remus and Garlem appear to be trying to take our land. Ah. Right, so naturally it's just my lovely sweet boys against 189 men. A pretty balanced battle, I must say, one of which we're supposedly going to get 50 renown from. Anyway, my boys, just literally hold the hill and uh, try not to be defeated. It's all you have to do. And I will try and track down the enemy forces and slay them for you. It's very annoying that they keep trying to lay siege to my land. Oh, there they are. They're all over there. Don't worry, once again, we should be able to hopefully start outranging them. There we go. We are now in good range to be starting to unleash volleys. Yes, let us ride the entirety right the way down the gun line lovely stuff oh and a lot of their men are now considering fleeing well it's such a shame that sadly there is no way of fleeing my goodness oh no there's more men behind us i did not see the respawn pile coming in well no worries they're just bunched up close together and now they're all retreating lovely stuff there is no escape from phil mccracken didn't you learn that oh and they spawned in more oh my goodness they keep <gasps> phil mccracken he's almost down oh my goodness he's got hardly any health phil mccracken please please phil please Gotta dodge, gotta dodge. I'm so sorry, Phil, please. <laughs> oh no, this is very scary now. Right, we need to get at a extreme rate. Oh, he's down. He's actually down. Retreat, we have to retreat. Oh, what do we do? We have 27 men. We must charge the enemy. They're 54. Okay, this is basically your last chance. We have one last chance here. For some reason, we've spawned on the side of a mountain. We have no health. We are one hit away from dying. And if that is the case, the journey of Phil McCracken has come to an end. <laughs> Goodness, I love this game. It is good. Oh, right, Phil. Where is the enemy? They're all the way over there. How are they able to land shots? Okay, it's not fair. Uh, aim higher, lower. Let's see if we can just land one. Any of those shots, anything will do. No, nope. okay. There's one. We might should take down the count himself. That's a good start. Maybe if I try and shoot over this hill and through some trees. Oh my goodness, I think I'm doing it. I think some of their men are considering retreat at this point. Oh goodness, yes. Please, just... Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Phil McCracken. Please, you can't lose. You can't lose this. Oh no. Oh no. 19 troops versus 30 men. Leave. We must leave. Go back to the castle. We must garrison here for some time, I'm afraid. <sighs> We have the advantage. Yield and you will be well treated. Oh no. Oh no. We will fight you to the end. No. <laughs> Apparently I don't get to fight. We must surrender. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen. It's happened. Phil McCracken was captured. He was captured and he's now running off in this direction somewhere. We're getting taken. A merry goose chase around the world. We managed to escape. Phil McCracken. It's over. It's over good sir. We tried our best but sadly our best was not good enough. We lost our army. We lost our battles. I couldn't believe it Phil. I really couldn't. But most importantly we did not lose you. Whilst it can be easy to think that anyone can be king of Calradia. It really takes someone with immense amounts of power and apparently more than just a mini bow gun to actually try and take the continent. But sadly, this is where our journey with our good friend Duke Philip McCracken must come to an end. But there is so much more he could do and so much more that he could conquer. So the choice is yours, ladies and gents. Do you want to see the saga of Philip McCracken continue? Or do you perhaps have another idea for a video? Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the Spiffing Brit. I hope you've absolutely absolutely enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to give it a like or a comment. Hop down into the comment section and give me a shout. Do you want to see more Mountain Blade Warband? Or would you like to see something else? Also, out of interest, are any of you interested in Mountain Blade Bannerlord, which is one of the up-and-coming releases and the follow-up to this game itself, is looking to be an absolutely spectacular game. I might be able to get my hands on it rather early and give you a bit of a sneak preview. If that's something that interests you, I'll make sure to see what I can do. The best way of telling me that is to hop down into the comment section. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of our fantastic patrons who make these fantastically wonderful
beautiful video as possible. Each and every one of you are lovely. Thank you very much. And if you're wondering what video you'd like to watch next, then look no further than this one on screen now. It's been handpicked by myself to be right up your alley, and I think it will be indeed. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the Spiffing Brit. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now. I'm going for your cup of tea.